Good morning and welcome to Live in a Greenhouse on YouTube. If you're new here, this channel is about my journey to design, build, and then live in the first greenhouse enclosed tiny home in the United States. Building a house these days is really challenging. With material and inspection delays, Matt, my builder, is playing master level scheduling to make any forward progress. Last time, the rough electrical was finished, but the inspector only comes to this little island one day a week and we missed him that week, so now we have to wait a week for the inspection. We've also been waiting for the exterior doors weeks past the estimated delivery, so the carpenters, Mike and Nate, moved on to another job on the island and we were hoping by the time they're done with that job, the doors will arrive so they can come back here. The weather is finally starting to improve, so stay tuned as we learn how to operate the greenhouse ridge vents without power. There are two electrical inspections. The first is the government inspection. His inspection covers the service entrance outside the greenhouse and around the inside and outside of the house. We need to pass this inspection to be able to schedule the insulation and drywall. He signed off, so now we can schedule the power company inspection. And the magic sticker. I've started spontaneously giving tours by putting out a sign. Today is an island-wide art walk, so there were a lot of people driving around to see the sign. I estimate about 30 people stopped in. Fortunately, Matt also came by and helped give tours. I put out some impromptu guidance down the wheelchair ramp instead of the slippery stairs area. No construction on site this week, but lots of deliveries. Although it doesn't look like much, this is about 600 pounds of pond liner. One more material that is difficult to find in the sizes I need. The boxes are the smaller pieces for the filtration ponds on the east end and west end. The plastic wrap roll is a single 20 foot by 60 foot piece for the lap pool, weighing about 300 pounds. Fortunately, it's wrapped in fabric under the plastic shipping layer. The doors finally arrived. One more long delayed material is now on site. We figured it would be easier to bring these up the west ramp rather than down the east ramp. Each door has a full light, so they're pretty heavy. Really appreciate the driver helping to bring these in.
This is the double door for the bedroom that took a group to carry. The double door for the living room is larger. The frame is leaning against the wall. Fortunately, each of those doors were wrapped separately rather than in the frame. Today is the insulation estimate, but first he needed to take a picture of the greenhouse to send to his wife it's get warm in there. and hear a little bit more about the ridge fence. Then a walk around to discuss the type of insulation per location. Since the exterior walls are framed with 2x4 rather than 2x6, only sprayed closed cell insulation will meet code. But we're specifying noise reducing bats in the bathroom walls and bats in the ceiling and under the floor. The guys were happy they wouldn't have to belly crawl in the crawl space. It's now in the 60s outside so above 100 inside, but we don't have power to the ridge vent motors yet, so Matt manually opened them with the drill driving the motor. High RPMs at the motor, but slow motion transfers to the racks. But I could feel the air start to move at ground level as soon as the first crack opened. Then he moved to open the second side, and it cooled off by about 10 degrees almost immediately. Matt's cutting the skylights in the kitchen that I decided on the day the electricians arrived. First marking the four corners with a nail, then transferring that to the roof to cut. The original plan did not include skylights in the kitchen for a few reasons, but mostly because I didn't think I needed more light in exchange for the added cost. I'm so glad Matt talked me into adding these because wow, just wow. It's not only more light, but looking up at the greenhouse structure is so cool. I'm grateful to have not missed this opportunity. Now it's inspection by the local power company. Really nice guy, just a little camera shy. He still needs to do some calculations and validations and scheduling, blah, blah, blah. But this means I should have power turned on within the next two to three weeks. It's supposed to rain, but with no work on site this week, I'm all proud of myself for getting up on the roof to close the ridge vents without calling Matt. He didn't show me where to insert the drill, but I figured it out by zooming in on the video I shot of Matt opening the vents a couple days ago. Watch at the gable end for how slowly the window gap closes. This feat would have looked way more impressive if I'd shot it from the ground to look like I was 12 or so feet above the ground. Not so impressive when you can see it's really only about a foot above the roof. One of the things I love most about this little island is the sense of community. Today is opening of a performance stage at the park that was built by donations and volunteer labor. starting with a tribal honoring ceremony, and then several musical acts until evening. This was my personal favorite. No work on site this week, so picking away at little jobs I can do myself. Installed the second of three rope light strings that will serve as general illumination, one for the seating area, one for the garden area, 
and for the pool area. The video captures the amount of light pretty accurately. There will also be table lamps in the sitting area and additional overhead lights in the garden area. I love how it looks from the outside and it's fun to watch how many people stop to look when the rope lights are on. Looky what was delivered today. I ordered the appliances two months ago and they were ready for delivery one month ago. I scheduled delivery for today, however, because at the time I ordered them, we expected to be pretty close to ready to install. But the domino effect of material delays, labor delays, and inspection delays were probably at least a month away from being ready. Young guy tries the ramp where the stairs will go. Experienced guy uses the wheelchair ramp. learned his lesson. Even though the house is only 475 square feet, these are all standard size appliances, except the refrigerator is only 24 inches wide. Another advantage of building the greenhouse first that I didn't film is living in a trailer, I do laundry with an RV washing machine. It washes great, but doesn't have a dryer. So today I hung my laundry inside to dry. And there you have it. A couple weeks of almost no progress on the house, but passing inspections means insulation and drywall can be scheduled and lots of material deliveries of future delays. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and come back next time when work on the house resumes.